Seattle Seahawks and the Los Angeles Rams. It is seven in favor of the Seahawks on the road at the Rams. 40 and a half to 41 is your total. Adam, maybe you can explain to me. Uh, seems like the Rams want to trot Matt Stafford back out there if he is able to play. Um, now, we don't know. If Why? He's going to be, I know. If I don't know if he's going to be able to play, we don't know yet, but it seems like they want to to play him if he can go. Good Lord. Um, if not, we still don't know. It could be Walford. It could be Perk. We don't know. We don't, we don't, we have no idea who's playing quarterback for the Rams. I think at this point, it doesn't really matter to me. Like I said, this is a super, I, it's a, maybe since the first time since week two or three of the NFL season where it's a super, super heavy teaser week for me and Seahawks down to one to just win this game against this Rams team that Aaron Donald's not going to be out there. They have no receivers. They have no running backs. I mean, it's just, it is, it is bad, bad times there for, for this Rams team. So uh, again, I'm not, I never fully bought in on the Seahawks completely as being a, an elite team. I do think they're good though. I think that there's, I think there's reason to believe that they're, that they're good, you know, and without Aaron Donald, I think that they're probably even a tick better than that. So um, give me the Seahawks to win here. I think, uh, I think Eugene is, is good enough to, uh, to win this game by a point. Yeah, I'm with you on that. Um, and it's completely a fate of the Rams. Yes. Uh, and and look, last week, the Los Angeles Rams nearly covered somehow against the Kansas City Chiefs with Bryce Perkins at quarterback. Um, that said, the Seahawks are getting, I think, a little bit of a fade right now from people because they gave up 40 in overtime to the Raiders look that that was an all time fluky game. If you watched most of that thing, um, the, the Raiders just lined up and ran the ball. And for whatever reason, Seattle didn't have it uh, last week. The, the Rams have nothing. I, I can't get behind anything with the Rams. I don't think it matters if Stafford plays. And and, and just to add to the chorus, if you take a, a quarterback who might or might not be able to come out of the concussion protocol and throw him back there, you're crazy. Although Sean McVay did say that it is safe to say that Stafford is not going to play this yeah. week. So I okay. do believe that we're likely to get another uh, Bryce Perkins game, which, you know, Oh my. Yeah. Perkins, <laughs> Perkins, Walford, whoever in the hell doesn't matter to me. And I, I, even as you said, Adam, I, even if it was Stafford at this point, I, I'd probably still take the teaser like here with the, with the Seahawks. Uh, Steven, we look, I think we were fair in our assessment of the Seahawks on this podcast over the course of the season where we were like, Hey, look, we get it. Like they're much, much better than we thought, but not necessarily elite. Like some of this stuff might kind of portray. And I think we've seen that happen here over the last month of the season, but I do believe that they are much better than I thought. I do believe that I was wrong in the assessment of what this team is. And certainly on the defensive side, I think that they're not one of the bottom three or four units. Like I thought they were going to be, they might be more middle of the pack ish. And if that's the case and Eugene is playing quarterback as well as he is, um, you know, I, I think they can win this game by, by, by a point. Is that Gino's real first name, Eugene? He is. He's Eugene Smith. Yeah. I had, I had no idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, every day. He, he's Eugene Smith. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Um, <laughs> we do our power rankings every week. We do it for that week. And I think I had the Rams 30th this week. I mean, that's, mm -hmm. that's how low the Super Bowl champions have sunk. They don't have anybody left at this point. And if you look at the Rams offense statistically – they're not much better than the Houston Texans on the season. They're 31st in EPA. They're 29th in success rate, 29th in pressure allowed. They're dead last in yards per play, even worse than the Texans. Seattle minus one teaser leg all day on this one. I'm, I'm not interested in backing the Seahawks to win by double digits against anybody, to be honest with you, because I do think, like you said, this is an above average team, but not a top 10 hmm. team. And we saw that their defense still has some holes against the Raiders last week. So don't really want to bet them to win by two possessions any week. But in a teaser leg against this offense, absolutely. Eugene. Cyril Smith the third guys, he could have he could have gone by Cyril and decided to that go by Gino and yeah and that I know, poor yeah. kid he could have been that Cyril like Cyril that's a pretty you know pretty cool cool name he should have went to college at Oregon and Eugene Oregon yeah I mean instead he chose to go Gino I mean he could have gone Eugene he could have been Cyril instead he's Gino Eugene Cyril Smith 
the I mean, I third. think we can all agree Gino is, is a big upgrade from Eugene, though. Yeah, that's true. That's true. 